back. I hope you have a little bit of a handle on what React is. Of course, you've, you've probably looked already, um, if you're even taking this course at all. Now, just before we get uh, going into the actual code here, I'm just going to tell you a few things that I am kind of expecting you to be familiar with, or things that I'm going to assume uh, that you have run into before uh, throughout this course. So this is a course certainly for beginners, especially when it comes to React. Of, uh, of course, I'm not expecting you to know any React, but I am expecting you to be pretty familiar with some of the basics of JavaScript, things like creating variables, doing loops, um, being able to read code to some extent. You don't have to have made some complex application, but you need to uh, at least enough so that the JavaScript's not going to get in the way. Same with HTML and CSS. There's a little bit of this, but it's not it's not very complicated. If you have made a web page before, uh, or if you've written a little bit of JavaScript, uh, some of this may be a little daunting, but I just want you to just run with it as fast as you can, and then you'll come back and you'll you'll be surprised how much you understand when you actually start messing around with different pieces of it. Um, I'll also expect you to kind of know what uh, AJAX or API or external data is, uh, kind of like a get call or post call. If you don't know what those are, maybe just do a little bit of research on that. Um, I also, some web lingo I may use uh, occasionally when it comes to, you know, pinging uh, external data or rendering things. Um, and some of that is just terminology that uh, is so ingrained that it's hard not to use. So in that light, I'm not expecting you to be a fully fledged web developer, but I'm expecting you to have a little bit of familiarity with creating a website and especially with digging into the code a bit. So with that being said, we're going to start off in a very simple place that we can all kind of um, common ground start with, and that's with just plain HTML, a normal page, nothing getting into terminal or into a different kind of uh, command line uh, stuff. We're just going to go to a page, download some HTML, and just recreate it and write a little bit of code. So React can be used on a single page. It's just a JavaScript library like any other library you might include, like uh, jQuery or you know underscore, whatever you might be including. React's just another one of those. The reason it seems a little different is that it's used to structure entire projects and it makes it feel like it's something much larger than just a few JavaScript files. But that's ultimately all it is. Uh, so this is just good to get started and so that we'll get a little link at the, look at the syntax before we get in with all the other complex stuff that we're going to be doing. So let's go out and take a look. Okay, so let's head back to the React documentation and if you can come here with me as well because we're going to get a little code off this page. Uh, it's reactjs.org and uh, we went here, we looked a little bit, let's click the getting started and then um, we have, it says here hello world and there's some information around here. Let's go down to the installation, there's this installation link and down here says online, there's some code pen stuff, we could go into those, uh, why don't we just actually get into our own code though and it says download this HTML file, edit it, okay it says, in it. sorry I'm just gonna go back, it does say it does a slow time runtime code transformation, so don't use it in production. So this is a type of uh, thing we're just doing in this case. We're not ultimately going to do this. So you can see there's going to be a React development um, JavaScript, and there's some other stuff. There's this Babel, which helps you compile React because there's some special syntax in it. But let's just copy this and uh, open up a new file in our code editor. I'm using Atom, but uh, of course you use whatever you prefer. I'm just going to save this right on my desktop as uh, test.html. Alright, and there I just saw it appear. So let's just open that up. What happens? Alright, you can see indeed that it's quite slow, as they said. And there we go. It says hello world. There's our hello world. So let's just look at this just for a second. Um, we are obviously going to go much more in depth um, in the future. So in your head here, again, just loading our necessary JavaScript files like any other library. We have a root div. You can see that its ID is root. And you can see down here in our render function, we're getting that element. So this element is where everything is rendering. So if we were to look at this with an inspect, we will see that it is inside the root div. Everything that we will render is inside that root div. 
And then script type text babble, that's just because we need to compile it, so it's a little bit of special stuff. It's not quite as simple as some of the JavaScript you would write. And you can see that, indeed, it doesn't look just like normal JavaScript. There's this HTML like rate in it with no uh, quotation marks around it. Normally, if you were doing something in jQuery, you'd end up having it like that. But this is just directly in there and just renders out this whole thing. So why don't we just do something a little bit in here to change this? So obviously, you've never really encountered this before. If you have, it's been very minimal. So even experimenting with it is worth a little bit. Let's see if we make an error or if we make something work here. Let's try putting our own div around there. Now let's put a little bit. Hey, my name's Victor. Oh, I always get this funny syntax highlight. And let's go do that. See if, see, see if that renders. You'll see here I put the div around and just treat it almost like this is a variable and see uh, what, what's going on out there. So let's see, let's reload this. Take a little while. And it looks like it worked. So now, one thing we could do, in, in if this was actually normal HTML, is we could definitely leave that open. It wouldn't be very good practice, but it would certainly work. Whereas in React, we may get it just broken. You can see there's nothing here. And if we search, do we get an error? Yes, we do. Unterminated JSX contents. So we're going to see that in the next section on JSX. We're actually going to fix that. I just wanted to allude to it here. So as a start, this is very simple. Uh, anyone can do this. And we could write uh, something called components in here. This is basically a component, but on a very straightforward level. Um, but obviously, this is not what you're actually going to do when you're doing React. I just wanted you to see the syntax and, and do it in an approachable way. So in the next section, we're going to move into Create React App. And this should uh, be the package that you're going to be using from here on out when it comes to installing React and managing your projects. And most of the projects you run into are going to be involving some kind of comp compiler, uh, some kind of build process. So you're almost inevitably, inevitably going to be working in the command line anyway. So we'll see you in the next section. We'll get that stuff up.